yo, yo, what is going on, guys? It is your boy, Optic Scumpy, bringing you another Black Ops 2 gameplay commentary here today on the map Plaza, Domination, Ground War, from a while ago. This is from the Dinosaur Prehistoric Ages, uh, back when I was actually in my first set of Prestiges before I uh, reset all my stats. And, uh, yeah, this is basically ancient, but I end up dropping 100 plus kills using the PDW with the Diamond. Which, I don't really miss the diamond that much. I thought I was going to, but I, I don't. But, the reception on my Astro video yesterday was absolutely insane. I'm glad that so many of you guys got involved. The video right now has about 10,000 likes, which is pretty much unreal. And then, um, the tweeting section of the giveaway has about 10,000 retweets. Which is, you, you know, that's 10,000 retweets. That's, that's pretty crazy. That's a substantial amount of people retweeting for these Astro A50s, and for good reason, because it's a really good product, and uh, I'm really happy that Astro sent me those, and then uh, I chose to give them out, because I didn't really need them. The wireless um, aren't as reliable for competitive play, so I'm just going to stick with my wired A40s. But um, I just want to thank you guys for the reception. I hope that you guys enjoyed the giveaway. There was a lot less complaining about the methods. I know... That some of you guys from the UK and people that have PS3s couldn't get your hands on the Astro A40s. But I wanted to switch things up. I wanted to make the giveaway, uh, you know, more more hands-on for people. And the only way I could think to do that was do something related inside of the game. And I unfortunately don't have enough stuff to give away to my PS3 fans and all that stuff. Uh, strictly for the getting on and trying to get into a lobby with me and saying the thing. So I apologize. I hope that you guys can understand. You guys still have the opportunity to win the Astro bag and hat as well as the Astro A50. So you still have chances to win um, the other the other prizes. So I apologize for taking you guys out of the running for the Astro A40s. I, I can't please everybody. It really is hard and I do this out of my goodwill uh, and and I hope that you guys can appreciate it. But today I just want to talk about stuff. I haven't done a commentary like this in a long time where I just sat here and and just talked about stuff. Random things that were on my mind, things that are happening in my life, things that are happening in the gaming world, and all that good stuff. So first off, let's start with something very, very relevant in the gaming world. Um, the new Xbox reveal. Unfortunately, I was at school, so I didn't really pay much uh, attention to the Xbox reveal. I actually didn't watch it at all. The only tweets that I saw about it were about the controller and how they didn't really change much, but they did it right. I think it was Fwiz tweeting it and how they just kept it basically the same, but they just switched up a couple little things, made it a little bit more cosmetically uh, pleasing to the eye and uh, some things like that. And I didn't, I, you know, I just didn't look into the, the Xbox, the new Xbox. I really didn't. Uh, I don't know why. I probably will here right after this video, to be honest. I saw a video of T. Martins um, that showed the NCAA games, like the, the sports games, and uh, it was that gameplay breakdown by him. Or not breakdown, but just gameplay clips from the new Xbox. And the graphics looked, you know, crazy. That's the thing that I'm looking forward to the most are the graphics. The only thing that I really, really hope that they do 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 oh my goodness but uh the one thing that i hope that they do is keep the gameplay smooth but keep the graphics up i don't want the graphics to go up to go up but the gameplay to get choppier or any less smooth that is something that i don't want i'd rather substitute lower quality for smoother gameplay than higher quality for choppier gameplay any day of the week as many of you guys probably would as well unless you're playing like a campaign game like skyrim and you really want that visual effect but um, that's that's pretty much the only thing that I hope they do with it. Anything else, I really don't care. It's all added on extra. And I just got my nuclear right there. And I just absolutely beasted on these kids this game. I didn't even realize. But another thing, we're closing in on 200,000 subscribers. I want to thank you guys so, so much. That is ridiculous. Another huge milestone for me in my YouTube career. And I hope that I can keep it going uh, even throughout college. And just keep this train a rolling. Also, I gave my English final speech today um, in English, <laughs> and it went really, really well. I talked about gaming. It was a philosophy of life. Uh, you guys saw my video, or at least most of you saw my video, or some of you saw my video. I don't know. Uh, my Scumpy's philosophy of life, and it went really, really well. 
Um, everybody in the class was forced to write down like a little note. The teacher gives out a note card, and everybody's forced to write down a comment about the other person's speech. And everything that came out was so, so thoughtful and so kind of my peers that were listening to my speech. They said, you know, your life is awesome. You're so inspirational. You're a great public speaker. And that's something that I've really improved on through YouTube is public speaking. I can go in front of a crowd of whoever the hell it is and pretty much give a, a speech and not – well, I mean, I'll be nervous, obviously, but uh, be able to talk like – I don't know. I'll just be able to enunciate and I'll be able to think of words that are bigger than usual off the top of my head and uh, try and impress some people. So my public speaking has gotten a lot better and it went so well. So my senior year is getting really, really close to being over with. I have two more projects and two more presentations. Well, the projects are presentations left and then I'm done and then I have a, a trig final. But trig is, trig is really easy to be honest. Trig is a a joke of a math class and I usually suck at math so that's that's nice but I have a final in that and then I'm done I'm done next Friday not this upcoming Friday but May 31st is my last day of school that is that is pretty crazy I'm gonna be out in the real world going to college by myself I'll have no one to do laundry for me no one to cook for me and that's gonna be a struggle cuz let me tell you I eat a lot and I I dirty up my clothes. Well, I don't dirty up my clothes, but I wear a lot of clothes and I use a lot of towels and it's just bad. I don't know how I'm going to do my laundry. I'm going to mess so much shit up. I'm going to stretch my sweaters. I'm going to, what am I talking about here? So this is one of those commentaries that I like where I just rabble and babble on about anything and you guys sit there and hopefully, you know, feel what I'm saying. You guys are like nodding your heads like, yeah, he's, this kid's the shit. Stuff like that. I don't know. I'm just talking crazy right now. And in other news, I started going back to the gym again, like you guys saw in my uh, lifting again video and Mother's Day video. And I actually hurt my rotator cuff. And if you don't know what your rotator cuff is, it's a, a small muscle, a, a small group of muscles in your shoulder that I don't really know how to explain what its function is, but it's like a, I guess it's a tendon that moves your shoulder back and forth like sideways up and down maybe um I'm not really sure I'm not a anatomy whiz but I hurt that and it was my second week of bench pressing and I I tried to bench and I just went up and my shit I felt like it was just gonna snap right there luckily it didn't because that would have been bad I just I would have had to stop lifting altogether but um it, it it, I couldn't do it. It literally felt like it was about to snap, like right there. And I've never had a pain like that while lifting weights. Um, and I lifted weights a lot back in the day. And uh, a couple months ago, like six months ago, I used to be pretty fucking jacked, to be, to be honest with you guys. Um, I was lifting for like six months straight. And I was a little beef ball, as a lot of people would tell you if they saw me then, like a professional player, like if they saw me in person, they'd be like, yeah, Scumpy, Scumpy was getting big, but I've never had a pain like that. And it happened, and it was so foreign to me, and I didn't know what to think of it, so I just tried to lift through it like it was nothing, and then I was like, oh, hell no. So I threw that weight down, and I just, I, I literally couldn't do my chest day, and I was pretty disappointed. But, um... You know, it is what it is. I was just like, I was telling my friend, I was like, as long as I got my thumbs, everything else doesn't really matter. I don't really need my legs, my arms. As long as I got my thumbs, well, as long as my arms don't get circulation cut off and I can't use my fingers, you know, that would be bad. But if you enjoyed the video, guys, make sure you hit the like button for me. Favorite if you really enjoyed it. Comment. Let me know what you thought of the video. Any constructive criticism always helps. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Follow me on Twitter, it'll be in the description below. And as always, guys, this was your boy Optic Scumpy, and peace.